Hey guys, this is Xbox and we are back with this playing Bad Jump today on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, last time we took care of uh, old King Cole in the Twitter Gold's mine, and we endured another one of those bastardly first person Kazooie segments, which made me want to kill something. And now, you may notice that we are back in the, um, the, what's, the first level, uh, Mayhem Temple. So you may be wondering why I think we're back here, but now we can finish up a chicky in here. So let's get to it, shall we? We can talk to this guy and break his rock, so that way he can get back to his little friend and uh, go to Ghost Mine. Actually, I think it's a, I think he's a girl, actually. Yeah, I think he is actually. She is a girl. But yeah, we can just break up this rock for this guy. Now, so let's see if we can do that real quick. There we go. There you go, you fuzzy little turtle. Yeah, you little Wait, what? Wait, you don't give it to us here? We do actually have to go over to the... Man, you son of a bitch. Alright, let's head on over, I guess. I wonder if it takes us actually directly to him. Hey, it does. Cool. So now it's like a little shortcut in between the levels. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's actually uh, pretty useful. And let's see if he gives us a big What do you mean he's still missing? I just freaking freed her. Okay, how did she go in the hole before us and come out after us? What did she do? Stop taking a nap? No, it's another buck tooth squirrel gopher something hybrid that I don't know what it is. You know, something I've wondered, why are all the jiggies all the same shape? I, I never really noticed that, but they are. But, oh well. Anyways, we just gotta grab our... We just gotta grab our jiggy and we'll be done. Oh, by the way, my commentary is sounding a little off today because, yes, this episode is post-commentated. Why? Because, uh, because my laptop decided to shut off before I could save it when I finished the, uh, recording. So that's why my commentary might be a little, might be a little off for this episode. Can't be helped, but, oh well. Okay, and, uh, I don't remember why I'm going in here. Oh, I, I think I remember. Um, I think there was something else we could do with the uh, transformation. Um, I, I don't remember what, but it's obviously something. And it looks like you guys will find out as as I find out. Because I don't remember why I felt the urge to turn back into this guy. Who can't swim to save his life, but he floats pretty well, actually. Uh, let's see, where are we going? Yeah, screw you up there with that stupid, uh, first person yeah. zoom bull crap. I hate that shit. Why oh, you gotta feel the urge to shoehorn your, your, your first person shooter into my game? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right, we gotta, we gotta open up the path for this guy, because originally I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to, um, sit there and blow up these TNT barrels. Yeah. Now, we can free this guy and get a jiggy from him. Alright, let's go see if he gives it to us now. Wait, you serious? Wait, 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 wait. What door is not open on the other side? Oh, magic not work if you go through there. Only bear and bird can leave. You bastard. Okay, um, that's one thing I don't like about this is, uh, in order to leave the world as a, uh, transformation, you actually have to go back to... You actually have to go back to the, uh... Mumba, or not Mumba, but uh, Humba Wumba, and get yourself changed back, as opposed to the first game, where you can just exit the world and the magic would just wear off, but yeah, it's kind of irritating, but oh well. 
Actually, I'm not sure if it works if you just exit a world normally. But yeah, if you try to go to like a connection in a world like, like we're trying to do, because yeah, surprise, surprise, uh, that uh, that door that we were trying to go through that leads. Just wear off. I'm gonna have to try that, but I'm assuming you have to go back to her. It's kind of irritating. I'm sure you're cute, but doesn't mean I wanna doesn't mean I wanna hang out with you any more than I absolutely have to. I mean, you're a bear, or I'm a bear. You're a you're an Indian chick. I don't think it's gonna work out. Besides, I already got my I already got my old bird. So this is the one for me. She's got those tail feathers. Yeah, boy. Except for the part where I'm not that much into featherality. I wonder, are birds still considered bestiality? Or is it like aviality? Aviality or something like that? Or, I don't know. It probably is. I mean, it's the same general family of beasts and animals. And here is Witchy World, which we can't do a whole lot in this room, so. Yeah. We're kind of stuck in here. No food can be taken off the premises. So there. Okay, why can't any food be taken off the premises? Is it because it's dangerous for health or something? Yeah, you can't really see a whole lot here, but we can't. We can't actually go through here. But that's actually not too big of a deal. And we'll find out why in a little bit here. So. If I'm not mistaken, I think we're about to exit the level here because I don't think we can do too much more in Good or Ghost Mine at the moment. We've gotten most of the jiggies in here, so now we have other places we can dash off to. Yeah, yeah there's our exit pad. Very nice, right? Oh. Not exit pad, warp pad. Warp pad, exit pad, same general difference. Oh, uh, that's right. I totally forgot about this. Yeah, um, we're gonna get the jiggy in here because when I did it the first time, I was actually doing it the right way. I just kind of failed miserably. What we have to do is we have to dash through these and get to the very end without getting crushed by those. And then there's a button behind us. I thought we had to like, uh, jump in through the, uh, jump in through the chimney, but. Apparently, we can just make it through here, so now that we're over here and not squished anymore by the uh, thingy, all you gotta do is just beak bash the uh, butter right here. Yeah. No egg poopers, there you go. And now, this is gonna get smashed up into uh, little jiggy pieces by these, by these rocks. Oh sure, you don't crush the rock, you crush me. It doesn't crush the rocks with the thingy, but when I got hit by the uh, spiky thing, it didn't chew me up into any bitty little banjo pieces. So, see, it just takes out one of our health, but it destroys it both like it's, like it's nothing like this piece of paper. So maybe we're tougher than before. Probably? I don't know. But anyways, uh, what it did is it actually split the jiggy up into a couple pieces. And so now we gotta find all the pieces. I think there's three or four. I'm not sure. So here's two. I think three is actually over in the river somewhere. So let's head over on that way. Okay, you little... Hey, how come we can't get a cowboy hat? Yeah, see, there's the one over in the river. Okay, yeah, what's this three? Yeah, I want a cowboy hat. I like cowboy hats. Uh, yeah, now we'll... Let's see... Yeah, we've gotten a pretty good amount of jiggies here. We're only missing two of them, and... I'm not sure how to get to either of those. But anyways, back to the cowboy hats. Uh, I remember I remember reading an interview several years ago. It was... Um, it was actually porn related, I think. It was, uh, was uh they, were, they were, they were talking about, uh, they were talking about porn stars, like, having sex with, like, regular guys or something, or, I think it was something like showing up for, like, a gangbang or something like that, and it said, 
one of the things that stuck out in my mind was one of the, one of the porn stars being interviewed, or one of the girls being interviewed, or whoever it was being interviewed. They said, uh, yeah, look, there's always got to be some idiot showing up in a cowboy hat. Don't be that guy. Everyone always thinks they're all slick when they show up in a cowboy hat for the gangbang. It's like, yeah, that guy's the, that guy's the great eight douchebag of a bunch. I don't know, I just always thought that was funny. Oh yeah, in here, we're going to race Mary again. Why? Because when she's butt ugly hideous, and we need to make sure she knows her place. Also, uh, um, just so you guys know, this race is actually a little harder than the, uh, the first race. It's actually much faster, it keeps up a lot better. I mean, remember last time we made it to the end of the race, and she, she was like 15 seconds behind us almost. She's like right behind us right now. I don't say she was just twice, but she's a lot faster than right there. Um, she gets better. Piece of paper. Hey, a Cheeto page. Sweetness. Yeah, we don't know one. And we don't know one to know where it's been wedged. Among the clouds. Yeah, I guess we'll see you later then. Seriously, whoever designed her is just wrong. That's just not cool. Anyways, we're two for five out of uh, Cheeto pages. I think we already got our first cheat last episode. I think. I don't remember. No, we're only missing one Jinjo and two Jiggies. We're doing pretty good in this level. We're doing pretty dang good if I do say so myself. Spent a lot of time here though. Two and a half hours, yikes. Yeah, two and a half hours in my him temple too. Well one thing one thing that you guys will realize about me is that I kinda take my time going through through levels. A lot there there's some people that'll speed run through 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 games in a matter of like like an hour and a half. I'm looking at you Siglovic or Siglovic for Super Mario 64 an hour and 45 minutes for the world record. I can't do that. I spent an hour and 45 minutes on the first level. I mean more power to it and I love watching the guy. But there's no way that I could just blitzcrate through a level like that. Let's get on out of here and see if we can go to whatever our next destination is. Okay, where are we going anyways? Uh, I don't remember where we're going. Oh, the honeycomb thing. Oh yeah, that's right, I think we're gonna go get more health. Alright, and just so you know, remember how last time it cost, uh, what was it, uh, two honeycomb pieces for, uh, health upgrade? Now it's gonna cost, I think, four for health upgrade. Or three, or something like that. Let's see, how much does it cost? Come on, show me how many I sh show me how many I give you. Okay, we had five. Oh yeah, it takes three now. So Wait, does it go up by one each okay now it says it needs five. So yeah. It started out as one, then it goes to three, then it goes to five, and then I guess next time after that it'll be seven. And it's pretty cool. If you look up there behind her, you can see just how many more life pieces you're gonna get. That's pretty cool. So after this we're gonna have three more pieces of life to get, so we're gonna end up with three, six, seven, ten, uh, ten, right, ten lives. Or not ten lives, but ten energies. And so I guess it's gonna go one, 
or yeah, 135, and then, so we need 5, 7, and 9, so 16, 21 more, 21 more pieces of energy, I think, or pieces of honey, comb. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where to go here, because I, I forgot for a second, but, oh yeah, we go through, uh, we go through this little hole right here. Where are we going, anyways? I have no idea where I'm going with this. I really don't. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Um, while I was exploring off camera, I figured out that there was a uh, some notes hidden in the Jinjo Village that we can get. And it's that little thing right there. The, uh, the, uh, the treble clef note, or whatever it's called. And we probably could have got it early in the game. Actually, no, we couldn't have this. We couldn't do the, we couldn't do the grab or the beat. So, uh, so yeah, we, now after we, after my hip tempo, we can get the grab technique or whatever. And then we can get that. So, now we have a bit more notes for the overworld. It's a shame notes don't have the uh, requirement for opening the doors to the next layer is like they did in Banjo Kazooie. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's I like how they're I like how they make it so they so they uh, trade moves now. But I still I still like the opening the doors to the next area. That was fun. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a previous video, but something that I really 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 miss from Banjo Kazooie is Gruntilda taunting you throughout the levels of the overworld. It added, it added a it added a pretty good amount to the game just to hear her cackling at you every time every time you did something or if she just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, egging on. I thought, I, mean, I thought it was pretty cool. I genuinely enjoyed her rhymes. I, I missed them. I thought, I thought they were I thought they were pretty funny. And a lot of times if you like beat a boss or something or some, or got a jiggy or something that was well hidden, she'd make note of it. And you'd be like, ha, I outsmarted you, you ugly old hag. So I just, I don't know, I just kind of missed that. I wish they had been brought back for, for this. And darn you, sisters, for making Matilda not do her rhyming goodness anymore. That's, that's like her, that's like her, uh, most charming treat. It's for one of her few good qualities that she can put on, like, a dating website. I make bad rhymes, so I'm going through times. Yeah, I'm nowhere near as good as she is. Kind of like a killer bee from Naruto, except she doesn't call everyone fool all the time. Yeah, I watched Naruto. You got a problem with it? No? Okay. Some people do. I do. Some people don't. Why I mentioned that? I don't know. Maybe I just felt like it. Alright, uh, we gotta head back to our next destination. So, why I'm dicking around over here, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, Mr. Mr. B from a couple days ago. Yeah, I recorded this episode like a week ago, and then I, I um, and then after, right after I finished recording it, my my computer turned off on me, and uh, I, I managed to save the video, but the uh, stupid audio file refused to refused to do anything to be recovered, so I had to re-record it, and then I basically said, ah, screw it, I'm gonna have to re-record this at some point, and I never got around to doing it, and just so you guys know, I'm re-recording the dialogue for this about, about five hours before I start uploading it, so, yeah, probably should have done it sooner, but I'm a slacker, and I was working on it, I was working on it. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was showing you. I, I don't know if I showed you earlier, but using the shoes, you can run on water with the uh, running shoes. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the, we got the bill beaker. So now we can, now we can do this right here. Not talk to, not talk to bottles. Okay, yeah, we understand you're dead and crispy. You probably go good with a side of coleslaw right now, but I don't care about you. Yeah, we need to, we need to bill beat this one. 
so much better. Okay, just out of curiosity, who is this guy? I don't remember seeing him at all in the first game. I don't remember him in the, in the cutscene leading up to uh, the house being blown up. So, he's just some random goldfish that, that showed up out of nowhere and got stuck under a rock somehow. I don't know. I mean, maybe he was in the opening cutscene and I just didn't pay attention to him. But I don't recognize the little, the little fishy bastard. But yeah, we gotta take him over here and we'll toss him in the water. Now he's gonna give us a pretty cool present. Yeah, extra bubbles. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And no, we don't get a jiggy, but now we get a faster swimming technique. So instead of just swimming with Kazooie sw uh, swinging her wings, or instead of just swimming with Banjo uh, swinging his legs, now when we're underwater, we can have a, a combination of, of them both swimming and doing their little thing. So it's a lot faster than um, just one or the other. Come on, go underwater. Yeah, I see. There's Banjo by himself. And then there's Banjo with Kazooie. Yeah, much faster. And now we got a whole ton more... Um, a whole ton more underwater health. So that, that was a that was a well worth the little diversion, so make sure you guys go back and pick that up. I'm hoping there's not too many water levels in this game. Like uh like what was that uh Clinker's Cavern from Banjo Kazooie. I actually liked the level. I just didn't like the fact that it was all underwater. And I kept dying because I ran out of health a couple times and didn't know how to do the uh, quick turn feature. So that was kind of my fault and kind of the fault of me not like the water levels. I, I, I enjoyed the general atmosphere. Of the uh, I liked the I liked the clinker character and I liked how it was basically a giant like underwater uh, garbage disposal heap area, but I didn't like the whole uh, always being underwater and threat of drowning type thing. Other than that, I thought it was fun. Alright, and there's our next level, Witchy World, like we just saw in the, uh, what's that, the Gurgles, Gurgles Mines area. And I'm guessing it's like an amusement park or something. Ooh, more notes. Yeah, I'm guessing it's like an amusement park or something. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called World. Usually, if something's called something World, or World or something, it's usually like a, a game or like an amusement park or something. So, hopefully it'll be fun. Alright, Mr. Jam Jars, what do you got to show us this time, buddy? Oh yeah, this is a good update. Yeah, grenade eggs. Nice explosive power. I'm not sure if you can pull up those rocks with these eggs. You probably can, but I, I never tried. Let's get rid of this guy, he's in our way. Ah, nope. You idiot bastard. Die. Okay. Die. But yeah, now there are grenade eggs. So, so now we can like explode stuff. Let's see if we can use it real quick. I think, uh, I think, I think 25 or 30 is the max right now. And then we get more later. All right. Now let's see how many of these various eggs give us. Let's see what we have. That's kind of hurt. I mean, you're crapping them out, and okay, they either give us just five, or that's the maximum we can carry at the moment. So let's find out real quick. No, no, I'm trying to restock all my eggs. Yeah, that's kind of hurt. You gotta take a flaming, flaming grenade egg. Poop. That's really gotta hurt. Ooh, it damaged me. I didn't realize it had a. I didn't realize it would damage me if I was supposed to. Let's go get those notes down there. Oh yeah, but, um, that was, that's what I was going to say. 
why why are you gonna make it so that Gratilda can't rhyme and then turn around and make it so that Jam Jars, who teaches you new moves, decides to be a rhyming champion when he's when he's t teaching you his new techniques? I mean, what's up with that? I mean, oh, you don't want to hear the Witchmaker awesome rhymes, and you want to hear Jam Jars do his uh, little military jargon bullcrap rhyme thingy. I don't know. I prefer I prefer Grunty's rhymes, but that's just that's just me, I guess. Hey, I thought I killed you. I really did think I I really did think I killed you. Unless you like respawn or there's another one in. Ow, you little bastard. Come here. Die. There you go. Take that. We got a bank kazooie against you. Yeah, that's right. We got a bank kazooie. You know you guys have wanted to do that for years. And now now's your chance. Of course, in the uh, non bestiality type of way, which is unfortunate. Or fortunate if you're into that. not into that type of thing. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we activated that earlier, but oh well, it's activated now. And we get our health back. Yeah, I don't think we visited this area earlier. Flume of Doom? That sounds like fun. What do you mean out of order? Wait, how are we gonna go to the Zoom Park when the rides are out of order? That's messed up. Anyways, let's see if Wumba, Wumba, Humbo, Wumba, whatever the fudge your name is, the hot Indian chick, let's see if she has anything for us. Ooh, very special. Mega? Globo? Better not be. Yeah, it is. Damn it. No, we don't have it. We just found out about it like 10 seconds ago. Is she checking her nails? Well, I never noticed that. She's just like, oh, you guys aren't good enough for me because you don't have my mega glow blow of making me happy. So, you guys, it's not good enough for me. <laughs> Check my nails. Screw you. Alright, what are these say? Management accepts no responsibility for the thieving pickpockets that <laughs> headed employees. Wow, that's like really low employee standards. Anyone who rides all the quality attractions and survives is entitled to join the Witchy World fan club. Current club members. Wow, that's a very exclusive club. Witchy World theme park is currently closed to an appalling safety record. Yeah, sounds like fun. Once the authorities have been bribed, heh, <laughs> we will reopen. Actually, that's, that seems like a good, uh, sounds like a good park I mean, If it's in danger of dying on all the rides, that sounds just about my cup of tea. Now what's up with the... Oh, okay, uh, yeah, you can't take the food off the premises, but... Okay. But why can't you take it off the premises? Are you afraid that people are going to get addicted to the to the goodness of the, of the grub? Right, teleport pad 1 activated, and you are... Hey, you actually look kind of familiar. You look like, uh, you look like Boggy and Drag. Yeah, Boggy the polar bear from the first game. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Oh, Buggy's wife, not Buggy and Drag. Okay, never mind. Well, if, it is, if it's Miss Buggy, I guess it could be Buggy and Drag. Yeah, close enough. What do you mean, giving up sled racing? Ooh, white screen TV. Alright, now that's the good stuff. Forget those active sports. The only activity I need is the thumb going up and down on the, on the channel and all you money. Alright, so now we gotta help out the Boggy family again by finding our kids. Are we babysitters? Ooh, it throws a hamburger on that. Maybe if we do this, we get hamburgers that give us health? No. And the punters will never know. I wonder why. I wonder why this place is shut down. Just all the. Uh, if you just take everything off the floor and put it back on the grill, I mean, that's just kind of, kind of awesome, but kind of, kind of unsanitary. Oh, that's a big ass hammer. Wait, you've collected a random stop money cone. Press X to choose your energy bar. Oh, it's like 
No, I don't like this. I'm not good at the... Oh, see, uh, what the heck? I'm not good at these things. I went from full health to one health from one stupid honeycomb thing. Yeah, I don't like those. And you're all boarded up. I thought you were the hamburger scene that I saw. Tickets. Okay. No. It's not the hamburgers, it's tickets. Okay, so where'd that hamburger scene go? And how do I get you open? I just destroyed you. Wait, no, I didn't. Wait, did I? I don't know. I'm not a witchy world employee, so I don't know these things. Holy crap, this is a slot machine to do. Hey, how about you not how about you don't attack me? You got a ticket for Conga's big top. Hey, Conga, the guy that was throwing oranges at me in the first game? I see you were still employed by uh Tilda Incorporated. Okay, I think I just prefer the uh the regular random honeycomb, the one that the one that you just fill up and then press the X. I don't like the whole random factor. Ow, are you gonna attack me? I never did anything to you except try to kill you and put you out of business. Hey, Kravis, how come that's not open? Oh, I guess it's gonna be open. That was close. Me too, buddy. I work in retail, and I'm not too fond of customers either. So, I understand your pain, bro. I understand your pain. <laughs> yeah, you guys have a massive attendance here. The limp and salty. Uh, one of those sounds good, but just not the other one. I guess. Alright, give me some good old fries. Wait, you gave me one order of fries and you're out? How, how, what kind of what kind of fry stand are you? You gonna give me one order of fries and then you're gonna be out. What if you had what if you had like a whole line of customers? What do you do, like, fry one at a time, and then it's, hey, 20 minutes later for our next batch of fries? That's like the worst customer service ever, I mean, like, I mean, I know I can be a bit grouchy every once in a while in the, uh, in the happy employee to the customer department, but, oh well, I'm not that bad. Yeah, real busy doing what? Sitting there complaining about the customers? Salty Joe's fries, taste free. Ooh, greasy alternative to a decent meal. Taste free, greasy. Sounds like my cup of tea. And another slot machine. So you leave me alone. And dive of death. That sounds intriguing. But we'll go. We'll go to that later. I wanna. I wanna find that hamburger stand. What is this? Looks like a fortune telling tent. Come inside and have your fortune told by Madame Grunty. However, we are contractually obliged to point out that you may not necessarily like what she decides. Wait, is this actually like Gruntilda doing the fortune telling? Or some other Grunty member? Maybe it's one of the... Maybe it's one of her fat sisters or skinny sisters or... Oh, it is Gruntilda. Now choose your fate. Beating! Hey, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to be attacked by you. Ow. Jeez, that's customer service of the smile. Okay, it's like every time we go in here, we lose the health. So it's like an enemy that you can't beat, and that all is really bastard. It doesn't even rhyme. If you're gonna kick my butt, at least have the decency to rhyme about it. Okay, how many of their slot machines are there? And what are they shooting at? Like, pieces? Nah, I can't tell. Okay, there we go. Oh, here's the burger shack. For some reason I thought it was the fry shack again. Big Al's Burgers. 100% beat of Rodent Original. <laughs> 
synthetic cheese. You know this food is making me real hungry. Makes me want to go to a Jack in the Box almost. Hey, it's like a, it's like the um, the si the si sisters on Simpson. Uh, they they do their smoked uh, meat by actually smoking on it. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. We're going over, bud. You know I'm hungry for that uh, burgery goodness. Now we already got our fries. <laughs> Too bad. All I sell is burgers. How are you gonna ask me if I want burgers and then tell me that you don't sell the damn things? to make into my, my patty. Oh well. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time we will continue to explore the wonders of Witcher. And hopefully I don't die on my way out of here, which I don't know. I died, okay. Yeah, that's good. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.